So he just flaked on you. Or maybe you've had a guy in your past flake on you and you're wondering why it happened or what you should have done. Well, not to worry because I'm about to give you the full rundown on why flaking happens and exactly what you can do about it so you never have to worry about a guy flaking on you ever again. Hey guys, I'm dating coach Ryan Patrick. So I just wanna start off by saying that I am absolutely guilty of flaking on a few girls in my past, in my early and mid 20s. I realized that there was a much better way of handling the situation in a much more mature uh, adult fashion when I really just wasn't interested in pursuing a relationship with them. And instead of dealing with it head on, uh, I, I took the chicken route out and I just did not communicate properly. So I wanna kind of clear the air and just apologize for that. Now, because I am guilty of this and I do have that black mark uh, in my relationship history, um, I thought it would be a good idea to really get deep about what's going on with the male psychology of why he's flaking, the circumstances that surround it, and exactly what you can do to just make sure that it has zero effect on you moving forward. So let's take a big step back. If something just happened where a guy just totally flaked on you, I think our intuition tells us that we want to lean in forward and communicate with them and figure out why they didn't show up or why, 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 and we're, we're just leaning in, leaning in, when really we need to take a step back and just gain some perspective on what's really happening right now. So there's gonna be two separate items that we're gonna focus on uh, in this video, and these are the only two things that really matter when it comes to guys and flaking on women. Okay, so the two items I wanna focus on. First, I wanna look at the guy's behavior after he flaked on you. And then the second item is how far into your relationship with him did this happen? So we've got guy's behavior after he flaked, and then how far into the relationship are you with him? It's really gonna be great for us to gain clarity on these two specific items. Okay, so first, the guy's behavior after he flaked. Not before, but after he flaked on you. So three questions for you. Okay, so the first question is, did he give you any advance notice that he couldn't make your date? Question number two, and this is kind of a two-part question. If he did give you advance notice, how apologetic was he in his text? And did he follow up with a second text after he flaked on you? Question number three, super important. Did he attempt to set up another date with you after he flaked? So I want you to keep those in mind and keep your responses in mind. Uh, we're gonna come back to those in a moment, but now we're gonna go to the second item, which is how far along in the relationship are you with him? The first question is, have you guys met at all yet? Question number two, and this is super, super critical. Did this happen on date number two? Okay, and the third question is, if you've seen him for at least a handful of dates, is it like him to flake based on what you know about him so far? Is this out of the blue? Is this like, dude, you're so communicative and what, you can't even send me a text that you can't make her date? You're just gonna have me sitting there like an idiot? So now that we've discuss the guy's behavior and we've also determined where you are in your relationship with him. Let's really look at the male psychology of what's really happening in these various situations. Okay, so let's go back to that first question for the guy's behavior after he flaked. Unless you got kidnapped, someone ran over your phone or you're dead, you should be sending a text letting someone know you can't show up for a date. Like, where are you, dude? Like. So the second question we asked about the guy's behavior was, was he apologetic or not? And you can even expand that a little bit and just say, how apologetic was he really? Or was it something short and basic like, sorry, I goofed on the time. If you're getting those type of apologies from guys that have real no sense of remorse or emotion behind them, 
he's telling you he's going to flake on you again and that he really doesn't care. My motto is when people want to show me who they are, I'm going to let them. Is that going to bother you to be with a flaky person? Or would you much rather find someone else who can hold a date and stick to it? I'm so sorry. And the third question about his behavior after he flaked on you, did he try to set up another date? So if he didn't try to set up another date with you, this becomes a pretty binary situation. It's either one thing or the other. If he didn't try to set up another date with you, he clearly doesn't value your time. Or not you personally, maybe you guys haven't even met, but maybe just women's time or other people's time in general. This is just a natural thing for him. This is just his modus operandi. This is who he is. This is who he's always been. Maybe he'll grow out of it. Maybe he won't, but do you want to sit around and wait to see if he grows out of it? So if he did try to set up another date with you, then, okay, this guy's got some redeemable qualities. He noticed that he screwed up and he still wants to see you. Otherwise, guys don't ask for another chance if they're not interested in wanting to see you. So he's trying to stick out a little olive branch and just say, hey, I'm sorry, let me make this up to you. Can we try to do this again? Now let's jump over to the other item. At what point in the relationship are you when these things are happening? Have you guys even met yet? So if he flakes on you on the first date, this one's pretty easy because there's really not much at stake for either one of you. So you'll ultimately get to decide pretty quickly, is this something that you want to give him another chance and try again? Or is it just easier to swipe a little bit more and find someone else? Okay, now, did he flake on you on date number two? If this happened on date two, what's really likely that happened was when he met you the first time, he kinda dug you, kinda, so what he's done has set up a second date with you and if he can't get anything else going with another girl setting up a date, you're his fallback option. So if he flaked on date number two with you, one of his other options probably went through and he just left you high and dry because he's an idiot. Just keep swiping. Now if you've been dating this guy for a while, maybe a handful of dates, and he flakes on you, and of course we got to take into account, did he give you advance notice, was he apologetic, things like that to put things in a more full context. But is this normal behavior for him? Was he punctual on his first four dates with you and now this is happening? So if you've been seeing him, you know, for a few weeks, he's shown up on all the other dates and now he's flaking, well, my bet is he probably has a large explanation for you because if he didn't make that second date, that would pretty, pretty much tell you all you need to know about how he feels about you and if he wants to continue. But if you're on date number four, date number five, he's invested. So he's got a little bit to lose if he flakes on you and screws up with you because now he's just spent four dates with you. If you're in this situation, I would suggest that you give him the benefit of the doubt and allow him to make up by setting up another date with you. All right, ladies, now to the fun part. This is where we give him hell. Oh, your car broke down? What about Uber, you rat bastard? <sighs> now I wanna give you action items, what to do in these various situations. So you're now fully in control of your destiny moving forward. So the first one is easy. If this guy didn't give you any advance notice whatsoever, you literally don't have to do anything. In fact, you shouldn't do anything. You should wait for him to be resurrected from the dead and get back to you. If he did give you advance notice, then you kinda wanna see how things play out after that. Is he going to apologize? Is he gonna set up that next date? You just need to sit back, not text him, not call him, and wait. The second one, was he apologetic or was he not apologetic? Well, if he didn't apologize, then he's an asshole. He's a little punk. 
Okay, does he try to set up another date with you? You know, is he being cute about it? Like, oh, you know, self-deprecating humor, anything like that. Is he trying to get back into your good graces? Because all of that effort should be looked at and evaluated. If he's making small steps to try to right his wrong, then you might want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and give him a second chance. If he doesn't try to set up another date with you, that really tells you all that you need to know and that this is not going anywhere with him. Now, have you guys even met yet? If he's flaking on you and you guys haven't met yet, again, you guys don't have that level of investment with each other yet where this is a, kind of a big deal to him, unfortunately. So you get to decide whether or not you want to risk and sacrifice another afternoon or another evening to see if he is going to show up or if it makes more sense for you to just move on to the next individual. It's really when once you have those first several dates under your belt where the investment starts to increase for both of you. Any little effort that he's making, you really want to consider. But if he flakes on you a second time, Get the heck out of there. Sometimes it feels so good to send off a text where you're just telling the other person off. When you send off that angry text to a guy, you're giving away your power, you're giving away your emotion, and you're also planting more deep-seated, deep-rooted negative energy in your own system that's only gonna carry into your next situation with another guy. My bottom line message to you is do not let immature men get you down. They're all over the place. They're going through their own stuff. And hopefully at some point they'll end up like me where I found a wonderful woman and I grew up. You just got to keep sorting through and you're going to find them. I'm coming to you every Monday and Thursday with new tips. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like. Have a great day.